everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Budgets and Dreams. My name is Jen and I'm on a journey to pay off £27,000 worth of debt with a goal of paying off £10,000 in this year in 2022. Um, thank you once again to everyone who has subscribed. Um, the numbers just keep going up and it just feels wonderful uh, to know that you're all along this journey with me. Part of the reason I started this journey um, and documenting it on YouTube was that uh, I really was in desperate need of some accountability for my, with my finances. And knowing that you guys are all there um, holds me accountable and so thank you so much. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the video, uh, then please do uh, consider subscribing. I would love to have you along the journey with me. And as always, please like the video and drop any comments that you have down below and I look forward to speaking to you. So today we will be stuffing a total of £670, if I've done my maths correctly. Um, so we've got £492.50 in jars and then £180 in cash. Um, but before we get into any stuffing, let's have a quick reminder of last week's affirmation, which was, I appreciate others and their views. So I hope you got a chance to use that affirmation this week and that it worked out for you. Now, let's have a look and see what we have this week. Wow. Each experience teaches me more about my capabilities. That's really good. I'm definitely going to be using that one this week. Pop that down there under my stone. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run over my budget plan. I do have a new binder, um, but I won't talk to you about that this week, so I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter. Um, but I will talk to you about my lovely new binder uh, next week, and I'll show you uh, what I've done with it, and I'm in love with it. Um, so just for now, if I pop this down here, we can probably zoom in a little bit and have a look at these numbers together. So we had this fortnight a starting balance of 468.59. Um, you might remember from earlier videos that we were setting ourselves a target of not going any lower than 450 into our overdraft this uh, last month. Unfortunately, we have gone over that um, by £18. That was due to me needing an extra £10 um, last week out of my spending because obviously I went a bit crazy with my spending over the past few weeks. And also uh, Netflix came out a day early. So that accounts for why we've gone over that 450. It is a disappointment, but it is what it is. It's fine. Um, my husband's salary, uh, 1823, that's gone in. I'll make a note of that a bit later. Child benefit hasn't gone in yet, but it's pending. And we have an additional 20 pounds um, from tickets where my colleague um, at work gave me some tickets that he, for a gig, he couldn't go to because he had COVID. I gave him some money back for the tickets and he refused to take it all and he insisted that I keep 20, which was very kind of him. So we've got an extra 20 uh, for our stuffing. So I've included that in the budget. Then for the next fortnight, we've got our bills, uh, 170, our minimum debt repayments, 163 for this fortnight. My son's spending money, I keep his Go Henry topped up to 65 pounds. So this will always have a few odd pence involved. Um, my husband's spending 180, my spending 170. It's £10 less because I had to borrow some additional money out of our account. Um, not just the uh, small amount, but a slightly larger amount, and I'm paying that back over the next few months. Um, and so the total from all of our bank expenses is £715. Leaves us with a budget of £744.32. pence. That goes on to our extra debt payment where we're going to be putting £200 onto my overdraft. I did that this morning and it felt fantastic and I cancelled my overdraft and I will now only have positive numbers to work from, which is fab. I'm really happy about that. Um, and then we're going to put an extra £30 also onto my husband's next, which is fab. So that leaves us with £514.32 for all of our weekly expenses, which we'll stuff into the jars in a second and um, a few short-term sinking funds which goes into Hyperjar and then also our long-term sinking funds which goes into our cash wallet. I'll show you uh, my budget for my spending money now as well. So this is my personal budget so I've got a starting balance of zero not minus 180 or minus 200 but a nice round easy to understand zero which is very exciting. Um, my allowance going in of 170, I have 1653 that I owe to Creation for my husband's Apple Watch last month. 
um, and then the jars that I'm going to be stuffing with you in a moment, a uh, total of 127.50. And I had to put £24 onto my credit card, which is for my vape. I ran out uh, just before we got paid and I had to use my credit card. So I popped that money back into the credit card already this morning. So that leaves me with 197 to roll over into next month. We'll talk about how I'm going to be stuffing my money in a bit more detail when we get to it on Hyperjar, which we'll do now. So this is Hyperjar. So we have 492.50 in our wallet. So first things first, my husband's protein. So he will get £24 um, for his protein. He's on a bit of a health kick at the moment. And so he needs that to build up the muscles. Oh, that's very loud. So he has £24 in there. Groceries, we're going to be adding 160. Um, this really works out for us. Um, this amount of money, uh, which is great. It's proving to be a um, really good idea to up our groceries by about £10 a week. Um, parking is getting 16. Whoops. As that's for the next fortnight as well. All of this is for fortnightly spending. Um, so petrol's getting 50, that's 25 a week. 50. I'm rushing through this a little bit today. And top up shop. Oh, we still have 36p in top up shop. Of course, I haven't updated the anniversary pot yet. So we need to do a sweep. So everything was zero in all of our wallets. Um, so that's fine. But I do need to move the whopping sum of 36p to our anniversary pot. Um, so we're still looking like we've, we're having a coffee for our anniversary, but that's fine. Coffee and a walk sounds lovely to me. Perfect, so we've got 576 in our anniversary pot now, which is great. So top up shop, we'll add in that 50, which is also proving to be the right amount of money, which is great. There we go. So that's all of our weekly spending stuff. So the equivalent of our um, cash wallet that we carry around with us if we were doing this in cash. So um, protein, groceries, parking, petrol and top up shop, all stuffed, ready for the next fortnight. Don't have to worry or think about that anymore. So that's great. So into our short term sinking funds. So home is going to get £15. We need to get a couple of reams of paper and also some washers for our kitchen tap which has been dripping and dripping and dripping for a good while now. Um, and to be honest, it's starting to annoy me quite a bit. <laughs> so my husband's going to do that this weekend. And then we're also stuffing £50 into O stuff. That's my son's spending money. Um, that's to pay for cubs and also for a haircut. So that's that. So that's it for Hyperjar uh, for our um, joint family expenses. So that leaves us with 127.50 for my expenses. So this is my uh, budget that we just went through. I'm going to be popping in um, these amounts here, which you'll see me do in a second. But the reason why I pulled this out to show you is that I have a new category, which is wants and needs, which is replacing my spending category. Um, and this um, the spending category was for like little bits and bobs, which tended to be things off of Etsy and Amazon. But I've decided that um, I can't have a budget for that um, without uh, just going mad with it. So what I've decided to do is I am going to only give myself money in this pot for specific items that I've decided over the entire month that I really want and need. Um, and that's to stop me with doing uh, lots of impulse buying like I did last month. Um, I bought a number of things. I did return a number of things in the end, um, but I just seem to be buying something every day. So I've just decided that from now on, I'll have a clear idea about what it is that I want or I need, and I'll give myself the exact money for those things. Um, that's gonna go in the wants and needs pot. So although I don't have any spending money, I do see this as my spending money. So I spend money when I go out with my friends and when I go to the quiz and spend money on myself with my hair and my clothes. So this is spending money. Um, it's just not throwaway money, I guess. It all has a purpose and that's the point of budgeting, eh? So yeah, so that's the plan. So clothes is going to get 10 pounds. Oh, thank you. 
uh, going out is going to get £35. I've got a number of things to look forward to over the next few weeks. I've got a couple of lunch dates with friends, um, both work and um, personal friends. Um, what else is going on? There's something else going on as well, I can't think. Anyway, I've got a few things going on this month, um, which is lovely. I'm really looking forward to spending time with my nearest and dearest. So hair is getting 73, that's on the 17th, that's for my roots. I've got a big hair appointment coming up in a few months where I'm going to get my balayage redone. Um, so there's going to be quite a lot going into there. <laughs> uh, and quiz, we're just going to round this back up to £10, so that's the final 950 There we go. Super. Oh, I obviously can't do maths. So I now have 11 pounds in quiz. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Maybe I'll spend the extra pound on something. I don't know what I'd spend it on. Probably just a chocolate bar. Um, so there you go. That's all the jazz stuff. So our wallet is now empty. So now we get to move on to our cash wallet. We'll just turn in my pages back so I know what I'm stuffing. So I'll just pop this aside. So my lovely, lovely new uh, yellow cash stuffing binder, which I am still in love with. Um, it's just the, the, the best decision I've ever made. Do you know, this month <laughs> I was sat watching loads of cash stuffing videos and I, uh, I was thinking to myself, oh, I'd love to have loads of money. Um, just knowing that I've got money around, that must be really comforting. And then I thought, oh, hang on a minute. I do have loads of money lying around. I have a whole cash wallet in, in my house. So I went and found it and I just kind of played with the money a little bit, um, which <laughs> sounds a bit daft, but I actually, um, it just brought me a, a lot of comfort that I've got the money available. So yeah, um, I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 in cash. So that's 160 from our pay and then 20 pounds from my dear friend who refused to take all the money for those tickets. So we're gonna start off with birthday, which is getting 20 pounds. So birthday currently has 20, 40, 60, plus another 20 is 80. Um, so we have three people in our household and we save 150 pounds for each birthday. The first birthday is in July, so we are well on our way for that and very comfortably on our way. So the next one is Christmas. I don't think we stuffed this one last time. Nope. I have my Christmas tracker, which I'm going to colour in uh, when I pop some money in here in a mo. So each of so our target for Christmas is £950 and each uh, gift box is £25 and we are putting in into Christmas today. So 20, 40 and 50. So I get to colour in two Christmas presents. There we go. Not the best colouring in the world but you know it does what it needs to do. Um, so this tracker and all of the envelopes are from What If I Fly 17 on Etsy so do check out then, if you get a chance, we've got 20, 40, 50 going into Christmas. It's weird to have started Christmas already, but it will be a huge relief come the end of the year. Car is getting £20 this week and it already has 20, 40, 60, so that makes £80 into car. And this is for a car service, which we have coming up in the summer. And then also we want to get ahead on our car insurance so we can save a bit of money on the interest that you pay on monthly instalments. Next is Tech. Tech is also getting £20. And Tech, this covers our uh, Microsoft Office 365 and the repayment on the iPad, uh, which we have on a buy now, pay later, because our iPad met a untimely demise. Um, so that's £20. That's the first £20 into tech. So at least I know I've started. Holiday. This is the biggie. We've got a holiday coming up in May and that is getting all that's remaining from our cash. So we've got 20, 40, 60 and 70 into holiday. Oh, sorry. It might be helpful to see what we've got in there already. So they're very slippy, these notes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So 190 
into holiday. I'm just going to check that's right. Yes, 190 into holiday. Oh, we're nearly halfway there. We've got target 450, I think. So yeah, that's fab. Oh, I've got loads of money. That's very exciting. Oh, I do love this cash stuff. <laughs> um, so the last envelope is savings. Um, I'm not popping anything into savings today. It's still got the same £20. And this is my personal savings where I'm saving for some premium bonds. Um, so once I've got a thousand pounds, I will be buying some premium bonds, which is super exciting. But one thing I do have for the savings um, wallet is, I'll just close this up a second. You know, last time I was speaking about um, my trackers and I got a little bit excited about my tracker, my savings tracker, this one. Uh, which I got from Handmade by Lucy. I just, I don't know what it is about it, the aesthetics, I just absolutely in love with it. Um, more in love with Lucy's service. And I was telling you about that last time. So I actually ordered something else from Lucy and I thought I would just unstuff it with you, um, open it up with you now so you can see uh, what I mean about the effort that she goes into her products. Um, so I can't show you the front, obviously, it's got my name and address on it. Um, but yeah, so it's just sealed down with this lovely sticker just for a start, which I just think is just really lovely. And then handwritten card envelope with washi tape stuck on the back. So I'll just peel that off. And then inside is the card I was telling you about, a proper card, um, which I just thought was just a really lovely touch, and my brand new savings tracker. Um, so I'll explain that in a second. Um, but this is the card, handwritten note from Lucy, and I just think it's just, it's just lovely. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys today. I'm very grateful uh, for it. It just makes me feel like my purchase is important to her, um, and it makes me wanna buy from her again. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Um, so this uh, savings tracker is actually for uh, tracking my husband and I's help to buy ISA. So we still are, even though we're focusing on our debt, we still are um, putting in just £10 a month uh, each into our um, help to buy ISAs. And so I thought I'd start tracking it on here. I actually did contact um, Handmade by Lucy uh, because the tracker that I had, the £20 one, that was the smallest one that she did. So I just dropped her a note and said, is there any chance you could make me a £10 one? And she was like, sure, no problem. And she did it within like a few minutes <laughs> um, and then messaged me to let me know it was available to order. So that was also pretty amazing. So I am just quickly going to colour in 60, I believe. So we have £30 each in each of our ices. So I will do that now. I'll probably just cut me from start to finish. Otherwise, you'll be waiting around a little while. So I'm just going to do that now. There we go. So we've got £60 in our help to buy ISA, which will buy us a doormat. <laughs> uh, quite a lav lavish doormat, uh, maybe a bit more than a doormat. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm going to pop that into the back of my savings. Ooh, probably can't see that. Back of my savings wallet. Um, so I've got that to keep an eye on every month. Um, so that is actually it. I feel as though that was a bit of a whistle stop today. I probably rushed over things. If you do have any questions, please pop them down in the comments um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain my madness today. Um, but thank you very much uh, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, I will be back next Friday and I'll be telling you all about my new planner and also plans that I have for a 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, so we're not quite there yet. We're not even halfway there yet, but I want to be prepared. Um, so I will let you know a little bit more about that as well. Um, and yeah, we'll go over some spending and see whether I've managed to stick to all of my budgets. Oh, I really hope so. Um, so yes, that's it for today. Thank you so much, everybody. Final reminder of the affirmation. Each experience teaches me more about my capabilities. And that's it. See you on the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.